So in this video we're going to look at how to do a Man Whitney U test using SPSS, specifically using the legacy dialogues. We're going to uh, follow the instructions on the help sheet and you might want to have that by you as we go through this video. We're going to use the data set, example data set from chapter 7 on bone density in males and females and there are more information on that data set in the, in, in the chapter. So here I've opened the data file uh, in front of me. I, you can either make the data file yourself, and there's a separate help sheet on entering data and a video accompanying it on entering data and making a data file in SPSS, or you can use the pre-prepared version on the online resource center. Here we have data view uh, with the label value labels on. If we wanted to switch those off, we go like that and switch the labels off. And we can see here then that um, one is our code for females and two is our code for males. Uh, and then we can switch that back on. View, value labels, switching it back on to get the labels. That's data view. Let's have a look at variable view. Um, we can also work out what our codes were here. The one for female, two for male in this example. Um, and so we've so we have the specific information on the variables in variable view and the actual data set in data view. For more information, as I say, on, on data entry and data files in SPSS, there's a separate help sheet and video. So on to do a Man Whitney U test with this, you go to Analyze and uh, Non-Parametric, and we're using the Legacy Dialogues for this uh, particular uh, video, then going down to Two independent samples, we're clicking on that and we, your, your, what you'll see is it like this, it'll come up with the variables over here and you'll flick the bone density into the test variable list and the sex into the grouping variable list um, so your dependent variable up into the test variable list you can actually do more than one variable at a time here, there's room for more than one and your um, uh, independent variable goes into the grouping variable box. We need to define the, uh, get rid of those question marks in the define groups button, using the define groups button. And we know we used one for female and two for male. So we're all ready to go there. Uh, this is all set up. Just check that the man with new option is clicked. And off you go. You say OK and the test comes out in the output window. Here we can see our sample sizes, 20 and 20 in this case. We can see the value of the uh, statistic uh, here and the p-value here and um, with more information on the help sheet to, to help you interpret that. that, and that so that's it. You've done a man-witness test using SPSS.